Welcome back to the Top Shelf Literary Editions. This is episode 51. Thank you for joining me. And we're getting right back to our book reviews. My name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Rapple filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator. And we're taking a look at the, the top shelf of my book collection. I have a pre-selected book. I'll give you a short synopsis, a review if I've read it, and a reason why I purchased the book. So let's get started. Coming off the top shelf today is Mary Sandoz, Crazy Horse, Strange Man of the Little Galalas. Um, I got this. Um, this is a, a bio, the, fir the first biography of Crazy Horse that I ever read, and it has influenced uh, my love for Crazy Horse. I would say Crazy Horse is the only Native American man that Native American men are allowed to be in love with. And this tells this tells his story from. Um, it doesn't tell quite tell his birth, but from the start of the Sea Wars to his eventual uh, murder at Fort uh, Robinson. Um, I got this edition from my mother. It was something she bought. Uh, she uh, she became a culture teacher uh, for uh, the Arapaho uh, people. Um, she started to collect more Native American theme books and Native American written books. And this is the one of the ones that. Uh, she gave to me. Um, she actually wrote my name in it, and the reason why I keep it is um, it has one of the few examples of my mother's handwriting in it, and um, it's always will always be a treasure to me. Um, I've never given this book away. Plus, I love the cover. It's a um, it's a sample by John Naito, um, but um, a very um, Detailed book, uh, like I said, um, I prefer other biographies to this one, but I would set this in the actual the top five or, uh, of uh, Crazy Horse biographies, if you're to do such a thing. Um, but Crazy Horse, The Strange Man of Oglalas uh, by Mary Sandoz is on the top shelf today. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.